All right, here we are, another edition of Viking Circle. We got General Manager Kwesi on the card today. And Kwesi, I know after about two or three weeks from now, you won't be talking to the media. So thanks for some, taking some time today. All good. Uh, plenty of time for you, man. Are right, you ready? Yes, go. All right, let's do this thing. Ah. Turn the bad, bad boy on. Hit the brakes. Nice day outside. I feel like the, the weather has been fairly decent for us. So does, does the weather change your mood of music when you're driving into work in the morning or no? Uh, finally, that beautiful weather everybody told me about when I got to Minnesota, uh, when I forgot, first got this job. But uh, no, I don't know that the weather changes the, the music. You know, you just kind of wake up sometimes with a vibe either that you're feeling or that kind of trying to get ready for the day ahead of you. So that's kind of really what dictates uh, what's on my drive. The weather can, can some try to contribute to, contribute to that, but uh, I try and wake up every day like it's a sunny day. We were talking before, um, I have Ghanaian roots. Yep. I know you have Ghanaian roots, yep. very proud of your roots. And um, I was just doing some research. I know Kwesi means born on a Sunday, right? Yep. A boy that's born on a Sunday. Yep. Adolfo means fighter. Yep. And Mensa means third born. Third born, yep, my dad. Uh, yeah, to, to your point, it's, it's such a cool thing. But as you get older, you, you really grow a connection to your, meet, your name and what it means and the pride your parents took in it. And so, yeah, th those are things that I, I'm really, it's really been cool to share that with other people. And they meet other people from Ghana and they yeah. ask, that, hey, what, what day of the week does your name mean? And the third board thing's always been cool because the, 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 the first question I get from, you know, really curious people is, well, is your third born? If, if I was blessed enough to have three kids, uh, would they have a, another Mensa? Yeah. And I was like, I, I got to check with the rules. My, I check with my mom on that one. Because I know fourth born means a non, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So that wouldn't be, so you couldn't name your son on like jo, Joe Adolfo uh, or not? I, I, again, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know all the rules. I'm going to cross those bridges when, uh, when, when I get there. Man, ha has it sunk in yet that football season is here and you got the opportunity to lead this team? It, it, it does. Uh, but again, I, I'm so focused on, you know, yes, we have end goals and objectives that, that are one year out, two years out. But I, every day I'm focused on those things, every step on the bridge that are going to get us to those goals. So there is some there isn't some big moment that hits me. It's OK. I got to get up today and do this thing. Watch these players, analyze these things, have these meetings. And that kind of gets you. And then all of a sudden I'm going to look up. It's January and February and hopefully we're in the place we want to be. Uh, but it is exciting to be back in the building. You know, you, you're on vacation and it's great being there. But after a couple of weeks, uh, you start staring off in the distance and you start thinking about your players and scheme and, and different things. And it's because we love being here. Uh, this is what's why we all chose this call. All right. So you, you talked about a, a few numbers. I know for players, they always say one day at a time, right? One, one, one. Yep. For a GM, what's the number for a GM? <laughs> you know, I think my job is to have the longest view in the room. And so I can't live just on the one day at a time. But as we talked about earlier, you know, I look at two year horizons, but I, I also look at the bridges, the steps on the bridge that are going to get us to those two year goals. And so really for me, it's one day at a time, but it's two years out, right. you know? So I think I, as both those numbers, I always say it, it's, I don't even know what this phrase means, but you do want to live in today and tomorrow and just kind of have that dual mind uh, to, to get us to our goals, but also focus on the short term as well. I know you don't really like the term analytical guy, and I'm not going to say that, but what about numbers fascinate you that has helped you get in this position? Uh, you know, I think I'm a creative at heart, uh, just not, you know, just don't have the skills to do it. So, but I do love how numbers are a language. It's a way of expressing things, ideas. Uh, and so really when it started to take off for me in football was when I connected with some brilliant minds and really tried to take their ideas and communicate it uh, into math. And math is like anything, it's just, another way of uh, communicating ideas and yeah. it's really it's really cool sometimes when I'm you know when I used to code or whatever it, it was really cool to just take a concept and create it with a model or create it with the math and I don't know I think there's something beautiful about that create creative process that goes with the quantitative I like that creative process is ultimately going to get us to you know that ultimate goal but where are you in trying to formulate the process and where we are right now it's, it's never ending, it's, uh, but you know, I came in with a really a vision that uh, you know, I've cultivated over the years in this business. And you know, a lot of that was just getting buy-in, showing, showing people why. I'm really big on telling people why we're doing something, not just telling them what to do. And so that process has been ongoing, but it's been great. Uh, I take feedback from everybody. 
Um, and we're, we're slowly building what the Vikings are going to be as an organization going forward, and I'm excited at, at where we're going. Crazy. We were, I feel like we were what? I feel like tomorrow is going to be first game of the season. So I'm excited to get going. I'm excited to have you on board, man. Appreciate it as always, man. Yes, sir.